Welcome to The Tech Book, brought to you in part by the Rebuild Paradise Foundation. Here we explore innovations in housing technology that you may want to consider when building your home. Hi, I'm Alberto with Robles Construction and you're watching The Tech Book. Randy Bennell with Anvic Pacific Insulating Concrete Forms. That's the product we're building with here. We're in Paradise, California. I'm from uh, Pin Valley, California. I uh, started out a licensed contractor 43 years ago, built with conventional materials for uh, 30 plus years, and then found ICF and have been building and selling it ever since. And that was 14 years ago we started with that. Okay, ICF is, stands for, again, Insulating Concrete Forms. And what that means is we have a layer of insulation, two and a half inches on the outside, and two and a half inches on the inside. Uh, that's your insulative layer, and it's the formwork for pouring six inches worth of concrete in the middle of it. So you have an insulated concrete wall. First of all, with uh, conventional framing, you have studs spaced at 16 inches on center, and they provide a thermal bridge where heat can pass through. Basically, the studs are R1 per inch, so that's that's uh, uh, R6 every 16 inches on your wall. Uh, R is res thermal resistance. With an ICF home, there are no studs that are passing through, so there's no thermal bridging going on. So the temperature on the outside stays on the outside, the temperature on the inside stays on the inside. Uh, before Northern California fires, that's what we used to sell it on was an energy efficiency, and secondary to that was was uh, disaster resistance, but with uh, between fires and hurricanes and floods and everything that's going on, ICF is the best material to withstand any disaster. So that's the one we're talking about first now, and then energy efficiency has become the side note. The energy factor, it, uh, ICF reduces heating and cooling loads by 40 to 60 percent. And so that uh, house this size, for example, would typically take about a three ton uh, air conditioner in it and it cocks out for about one and a half tons on this one. And that also relates to when you're doing solar arrays, uh, if you reduce the heating and cooling load, uh, that's a big part of your energy consumption. It also reduces the, the size of your solar array as well. Pretty much all the ICF products were developed in Canada, a colder climate than what we have here in California. Um, so that's where the technology started, and it started uh, as early as 50 years ago, somewhere in the first versions of ICF have been around for quite a while. And then there's been more and more manufacturers uh, developing it and refining the, the, the productivity methods and all that with it through the years. Once the walls are up and filled full of concrete uh, for electrical, um, we have two and a half inches of foam, so we have a hot knife that we cut out for the, uh, the boxes that, that go in there. And uh, they'll face mount to the webs, uh, which is the studs, basically that are embedded in there. And um, uh, we route the wiring path with a, it's basically a chainsaw with a stop on it at two and a quarter so we don't hit concrete. And route it out and the wire just tucks it right in there. So that's electrical. And then as far as plumbing goes, typically on a house, uh, most of the plumbing's on interior walls, which are still conventionally framed. So most of the plumbing happens there. Usually you have the kitchen sink right below a window. So that's usually the only one that's on an outside wall. And there again, it's usually uh, one thing we have is a vent pipe coming out. So that's uh, a two, two inch vent pipe, is, which is two and nine sixteenths. So we can get that in our two and a half inch uh, foam area. Uh, design is pretty straightforward. Uh, we've also been able to do, uh, if you have a house with conventional frame, plans for conventional frame, our walls are thicker. So our walls are 11 inches thick. Typical walls are two by six or five and a half inches thick. So in order to maintain the interior room spaces, we kick that extra five and a half inches to the outside. So all we're doing is drawing a new exterior that's five and a half inches bigger all the way around the house. And you can use any plans that are available. Uh, lots of client statements, uh, always positive. Everybody loves their energy bills, or lack thereof. Uh, uh, they love the comfort of the house. The ICF house feels more comfortable when you walk in. It's 
evenly distributed heat and cool. So on a 100 degree day here in paradise, when this house is up, you can walk into it, it'll be in the high 70s with no air conditioning running. I actually had a client uh, that wanted me to, to uh, design a straw bale house. Uh, and they were looking for the energy efficiency and the green technology and all that. And the more I did research on the straw bale building, the more I decided I didn't want to have anything to do with it. And so I looked for alternatives for this customer, and that's where I discovered ICF. And I uh, spent a lot of time on the web researching all the products out there and then uh, went to find uh, where I could get the product. And I hit dealer locator, and it was located right in my backyard, pretty much. So. Um, so I started, that was 14 years ago, uh, started buying from them, haven't gone back to conventional frames since, since then, and let's see, seven years ago, uh, the supplier that I was buying from said he wanted to retire and sold me the, the business. So uh, I've been carrying it on and introducing other, other contractors in the area on the building technique. What do I believe in the technology? Uh, energy efficiency, disaster resistance, comfort, Soundproofing. We're right next to uh, Skyway here in Paradise, which there's a lot of road noise coming from now. You won't hear that on the inside of this building when it's done. It'll be stone quiet. So, uh, all those reasons, you know, it's just a better way to build. Um, it, this is going to be a house that's going to last 200 years. I feel sorry for the, whoever wants to tear it down in the future, you know, if they're going to have a time versus any other method. So, what's happening with the California building codes is we're having to, they're having to build houses more and more efficient all the time. So the uh, conventional frame house, in order to meet the efficiency or the fire resistance uh, of the new codes, has to do more and more and more to become uh, safe, energy efficient and fire safe. We just keep doing what we've been doing forever. We haven't changed a thing. All the new codes are just coming up to our level. So what's, what's going to happen with that is um, uh, Stick builders are having to pay more to accomplish what we're doing already. So we used to be slightly more in cost. Now we're leveled off and they're going to continue to grow and, and our costs are going to remain stable. So we ended up providing a uh, more energy efficient house, a safer house uh, for the same or less money than any other method.